One of the realities, and I love to hear your perspective on is, is when you start layering systems, like game systems that are more complex, that is based on an LLM, I think the problem scales exponentially. <laughs> and, and so like, you know, so if you're saying, okay, like you can do suck up, but now it's GTA, right? But, but there's just so many vectors in which that logic moment could go wrong, you know? And so it's kind of like, and this is a bad decision. Maybe the LMs, the tools around it could get better, but it's like you're kind of building castles out of sand, if that makes sense, right? And you're like, like if you're stacking, and the, the more I stack, it, it, it falls, right? I think it's just when you're layering more systems, it's just, it becomes really hard. And there is a question that we're trying to figure out, everyone else is trying to figure out. It's like when you create a game, you're like, oh, I have all these rules and levels and whatever, and, but then also I have this generative capability as a core of it. A lot of things break and a lot of things, whether it's on the prompt side, whether it's on the guardrail side, whether it's on, how do you reconcile that, right? Yeah, I think, I think this is something that people run into quite frequently, right? Like the first prototype that I build, it, it's easy to have like, oh, the LM will make direct decisions, they impact the game, we'll just do a tool call and we're all happy. And as you said, as you expand, it becomes difficult. The LMs don't have, they're not sentient beings, they're like, they have clear limits. And it really feels like that you're building in this like castle of sands.